Hello YouTubers, it's Rob V Dubs. I'm back with a live video. I've been making picture videos lately. Uh, been busy. Well, it's been about a month since the last video. Everything around here has been slow. Uh, as far as M case, the Toys R Us was the only thing hitting for a, for a while. Got them early in the month and uh, got all them M case cars out of the way and then Walmarts were dead and all the dollar stores same old same old cars so uh, starting out with the first my buddy from high school we made a, some trades uh, for some golf carts he's a real big golf cart collector way back from the early ones I think he gave me most of them that they make but uh We'll shout out to Jason, uh, a buddy from high school. He fixed me up with all the golf carts. I traded some treasure hunts and some pedal cars and some Honda monkeys and, uh, for all the golf carts here. I was glad to get them. If I can get the rest of them out here. Here's some of the early ones. You can tell that early, I think it's 97 where the, the blister there was bad about changing colors. There's one of them in there. There's them. The one's a matchbox. The anniversary edition. We threw that in there. I was glad to get them. I like the golf carts. The shopping carts and everything we had back then. So that was a good trade. Let's get down. The Toys R Us has the deal where you spit the mail in deal. You get the 20 cars and they have the Toys R Us exclusive Chevelle. I found plenty of them. I like that white with the red flames. And of course, this. Yellow Submarine was in that case. There was a couple of them at the Toys R Us. I like the the dinosaurs growing on me. That guy's sort of funny looking. I like him. I got some of them. And of course, three weeks later, the M case dump bin hit at Walmart and tons of these. I think I ended up getting. Uh, I think total. I think I found like 15 of these. I took them to my trade buddies. They didn't find none yet. I handed them out as a random act of kindness. They're glad to get them. I was like, they're out there. Just tons of them. These guys, I got a set of these. Gotta get the little figures to go in them. They're sort of pricey for little figures. The little mine carts. I ain't too much on the little video game, but I like this. And, Race crews had that track, Hot Wheels track. It's pretty cool, and uh, I did get to trade. I traded some two of these for the what is that? Target exclusive cards of these. So I got some of them. I still liked a couple though. He only had three or four of them. So that'll be on my hunt list. Just gotta make a haul to Target. Um, them are pretty cool. Little mine carts for Minecraft. Other than that, it picked up this week. Uh, I'm where to start. Midweek, the Walmarts. I keep up on the YouTube channels. I seen some of them bootlegger cars start hitting. I, there's one Walmart I check every day that sort of tells me whether or not to check the rest of them and it hit that Thursday morning. I like it when they put them out midweek. Everybody usually hunts on a weekend right at payday. And I got off work that morning and it was time to roll. I ended up having a pretty good haul. The uh, Titanium's release and the bootleggers. Same release, same day was hitting all the Walmarts here in West Kentucky. Uh, started out uh, 
I guess this would be the uh, the raw chase, but it's at 250 pieces. The Oldsmobile Cutlass 442. I found one of them bad boys. They had two 750 chases. I ended up finding one of them. I, I didn't have to stop at many Walmarts. It's like, I think I stopped at four. It was the ones right there close to work. About 30 mile radius in each direction. That's one of the 750 pieces. It's 1971 Dodge Charger. There's one more of these. It's uh, can't remember what it was. It's a red convertible. So I'll be after that. And the 124 scales. They had. I didn't find the the raw. But I did come across the 250 chase pieces. 250 pieces worldwide. There's two of them, and this one is 1970 Dodge Charger RT Hemi. I didn't like these at first. I wasn't. I was going to get them and trade them because I I sort of like the the reg, the regular ones with the bootlegger logo, but uh, this one's got it like a ghost flame sketched on the door. You can see it in the light. It has the logo on the side, and it's got different rubber tires. Red line tires, the red uh, red wall on it. It's a neat car. I like it. We got a local distillery in here that has the like the same image they put on like a whiskey jug. And I'm gonna display them with the jug and stuff, make it look rusty. So I got that one. And this is all these. Finding all these expensive cars midweek, ooh, it's hard on the wallet. But I can't leave them sitting there. They'll be gone. And uh, here's the first Camaro I found, 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. That other 250 pieces worldwide. So I add that to my collection. And I know y'all, y'all keep collectors. Y'all know what these look like. You know? Glad to get them. And it's the same thing. Bootleggers on the side and like a ghost flame print. Them are nice cars. That's good to have. Mm -hmm. And I've been keeping up with uh, my friends. A lot of them go on vacation before the school goes back. Starts back in the Ron John Surf Shop down in Panama. A lot of people vacation down there. I, my neighbor, he's down there vacation, and I text him. I was like, hey, if you go to Pier Park, can you do me a favor? And he texts me back later that day. He said, yeah, yeah, what do you need? I was like, go to Ron John's. There's a new release, release two of the surf, the VW bus. He's like, all right. Then I was like, and when you're in there, see if you got the one with the green wheels and the surfboards. He's not a collector. I had to step him through what to look for. He's all right, all right. He, I went to sleep from work at midnight, so I woke up and here's the text. He said, text went through. He had them. Can't believe it. It's the first one I ain't seen one on the internet yet or on Evil Bay or anywhere. And I was just, I was like, no, nah, there ain't no way. I've I've never seen one of the first release. I, it's amazing he found it. So it's like, this is like, for a VW guy, this is probably my grail piece now. It took the place of my 108 uh, Bel Air Raw. He he came back, and I picked that up from him today. Uh, Samba bus. They got the wood grain this year. It's got the green wheels, the green surfboards. And this is number 104. And while he's down there, he went and picked up the regular one. And the guy, he didn't have them on the shelf. He got these out back. And he said, yeah, there's two of them. Do you want both of them? And at the time, he's like, no, because he could tell the guy in the back. He really probably, he really wanted it. And uh, I'm not being greedy. So he brought me one. I'm sure the guy that works there got the other one. 
he said the worker said he's never the whole time working there he's never seen one go through that store so he's probably tickled to death to get it too but uh, this one's got a good home Rod V dubs I didn't need that in my collection I was thrilled and there's the regular one it's pretty I think these run around 5,000 pieces I ain't for sure but this number is 1,270 that's the regular one so I'll add them to my collection I love them pieces green lights, greenies, green machines whatever you want to call them my favorite so we got that what else was there all everything happened in like two day period oh these <laughs> I found these at the Walmart you see them we cleaned them out I come back I pile it right in the morning cleaned it out went back and this was just laying in the aisle I went and bugged them. It's like pulling teeth at Walmart. They're, it's like they don't want to help you out, but the only people buying these cars is us collectors. And uh, so I pulled the teeth, talked with the manager for a while. She let me take the shipper home. Woohoo! I don't know if it was worth a 15 minute wait, seeing if I could or not. It's like they thought I was like, I don't know, taking some kind of government agency official project home or something it's like it's just an empty cardboard box going in the crusher but they didn't understand that so I was sort of happy to get that I guess I'll just put some spare cars in it and I can't think of nothing else I'm sure I'm forgetting something else but uh, I guess I get some shout outs. I always uh, kill time at work, and watch some YouTube videos, get fresh on what cars are hitting, what to look for. And uh, there's a handful of YouTubers I always watch. And uh, keeps me motivated, sort of teaches me, teach me what direction I need to be going, help me out from finding a car here and there to hitting the mother load having days where you hit four chases and uh, all the homework pays off so I'll give some shout outs to some of my YouTube friends uh, I subscribe to y'all I like watching those videos and uh, one of my favorites Frank Kids Mr. Get It While It's Hot <laughs> I like his slogan good videos funny guy and uh, he has Wonderful collection, wonderful hauls. I mean, uh, never a dull moment, especially when uh, uh, he does his. Uh, who is that guy he makes? Carlitos. <laughs> that are funny videos. And this is Mr. Carlitos. So shout out to Frank's kids. Another person, Mr. Derek Smith. Do your homework. So that helps out. Always do your homework. So uh, that uh, sort of paid off from knowing when to hit these chase pieces. And uh, Mr. Scott Super Hunts, Go the Distance, PMA, all the day or all the way. And uh, he's always got some good videos. He's got a wonderful collection too. Richie Boy 87, he's another one, good one to watch. But the intros, his videos are like a scary movie I mean it's sort of scary watching them down there at work <laughs> all alone on a night shift but uh, nah they're good videos and uh, shout out to him Mr. Steve Langfield I think he's a collector up in Canada he's always got great hauls everything just pristine uh, shout out to him he's a good one to watch and uh, I don't know if I pronounce this right. Uh, Al uh, <clears throat> Alexandro Sanchez. Uh, sorry, I, I don't. I murdered that first name. Mr. Sanchez, Mr. Boom Shakalaka. Good videos. Love him. He's a good guy. 
and uh, all his videos are fun to watch. And he's a, he's he likes some green machines. Uh, his last video he had tons of them, just greenies after greeny. I was like, woo! Uh, love them green machines, Mister. Let's see, Hall's Guide. He don't have a in-store videos, mostly just case unboxings. I watch him over and over. And I know what case, know which cars I want, and uh, know what the treasure hunt is. Sort of do my homework on it. So when I see it, turn the card over, look at what case it is, go in there and get the goods. And uh, shout out to Mr. Kevin Baines. I think he's down there in Texas. And uh, he's a, he's got good videos. And... Uh, uh, I think his eBay account is just as interesting as videos. <laughs> the most things, if you see on there, uh, see something you like, just go to the eBay at uh, Kev's Diecast, and uh, you can probably buy it from a uh, 50% chance that is. He's a good guy, good videos, fun to watch. And uh, here's one guy, the... Uh, it's been missing in action. Uh, uh, I think his name is PJ's. PB and J, 1972. He had uh, good videos, but he's been missing in action. If anybody knows him, just give him a shout out. Tell him we miss him on YouTube. And uh, get out there and don't be like Mr. Jason Fry and start deleting your accounts and want to coach T ball and softball and all that good stuff. But uh, he was one one of the first ones and got got me hooked on hunting all his uh, hunt hard videos as a unreal but he sort of moved on which at some point I guess you got to if you gotta do it because of your job and stuff but uh, thanks for all the influence out there and uh, like and subscribe and comment tell me how I'm doing and uh We'll see y'all later and happy hunting. And uh, well, that's all for today. Thanks.